This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com slash TYT and get a two-week trial for free. Down goes Ensign. Down goes Ensign. Uh, Senator Ensign from Nevada is retiring. He was thinking of uh, running for re-election. Uh, remember, he got, of course, into uh, an affair. And uh, since he's a Republican, I thought he would survive it fairly easily. It turns out not to be the case. It turns out uh, that this one cost him. Now, one of the reasons is that it was more personal. He had slept with his, the wife of his chief of staff. And that seems really uncool to everybody. You remember uh, when Gavin Newsom did that and he was a Democrat in San Francisco, of course, the mayor. That hurt him as well. It hurt his popularity. And because whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, that just ain't cool, dude. Right. Everybody knows that. Now, is that really why he went down? I don't know. He ran as a family values guy back in 1994. That's how he originally got into Congress in the first place. He's a hypocrite. Is that what it took him down? Hell no. Because that happens a million times in the Republican Party. It never takes anybody down. The only way you get taken down in the Republican Party for having an affair is if you had an affair with a guy. Okay. But if you had an affair with women, prostitutes, whatever, the Republicans don't normally care. My guess as to why he actually is stepping down is because the Republican primary was going to be too hard to win. He's going to have a right-winger go up against them, as is happening all throughout the country. And the right-winger was going to beat the hell out of him for being uh, the establishment guy, being addicted to power, and having all of the, you know, the downsides and the vices of power, including these affairs, right? Now, in the past, the reason the Republicans didn't step down is because they didn't really get primary that much in situations like this. Instead, uh, they just all they had to do was beat the Democrat. And beating Democrats is easy. You think the Democrats are going to beat you up over your affair? No, they're going to be whips, and they're going to let you get away with it. If I was a Democrat and the guy ran on family values and he had an affair, I'd run endless stream of ads about it. Hypocrite, ensign. Look at how he slept with his friend's wife, this sick sum of a bitch, right? But Democrats don't roll that way. They give him a pass. So that's why they never give a damn. The Republicans give it about what the Democrats are going to do them. And they usually win. Look at what happened to David Vitter in Louisiana. The guy's having sex left and right. He's got the D.C. brothel. He's got the uh, you know, charges of uh, hookers in Louisiana. And he straight, you know, cruises to a victory. The Democrat hardly laid a finger on him, right? If they had a real right winger in his primary... You know, that had, was funded, backed, et cetera, as Ensign looked like he was going to have in Nevada, he might have run for the hills too. Because one side of this politics uh, in America is vicious. And look, it's a contact sport, man. It's politics. I don't blame, I partly don't blame him for being vicious. If you make up stuff, that's terrible, okay? But if you're trying to beat the other guy by any means necessary in uh, politics, I get it. I just don't know why the Democrats don't do it. Unfortunately, I do know it always goes back to the Harlem Globetrotters, uh, Washington Generals thing. Uh, these days, be the way that the corporations have set up uh, our political system by purchasing all the politicians, the Democrats are supposed to lose. So that's why they send in the clown. <laughs> I couldn't be the guy. <laughs> no, family values. <laughs> then I think we prostitutes. How do I beat them? You beat him by kicking his ass. That's how you beat him. You only lose to him because the system selected a bunch of clowns on the Democratic side. Look, there's a couple of Democrats I like in the country. Otherwise, <laughs> in the immortal words of Jesus Godoy, they are weak sauce. If you want to build a website or a blog, where do you go? You go to squarespace.com. With Squarespace, you don't need any coding experience. And the best part is you can even edit your website on your iPhone. They give you 24-7 support. Go to squarespace.com slash TYT and get a two-week trial for free.